Hello friends, this video straight line part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight line part 1 to part 12. Now we'll study general equation of straight lines. General equation of straight lines is denoted by ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Please note ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are real constants such that a and b are not together zero simultaneously because if both a and b are zero this is just c is equal to zero that doesn't that is not a straight line equation straight line equation should have either one x component or one y component or both x and y component that's that's why both a and b can't be zero simultaneously so general equation of a line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where both a and b can't be 0 simultaneously either a is, a is 0 or b is 0 or both are not 0 but both a and b can't be 0 simultaneously for example 3x plus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0 this is the equation of general straight line if you say 3x plus 3 is equal to 0 that is also equation of straight line because here b is equal to 0, a is not equal to 0. If you say 4y plus 5 is equal to 0, this is also equation of straight line. Here, if you see a is 0, here b is 0. But if you say both a and b is 0, if you just say 5 is equal to 0, this is not equation of straight line. Or you say 0 is equal to 0, this is not equation of straight line. For a line to be equation of straight line, it should have at least x component or y component or both x and y component. Now there are different forms of ax plus by plus c. They are slope intercept form, intercept form and normal form. These are the three forms of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. We will show you. Let us discuss slope intercept form. So, in this case, we have this equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and if b is not equal to 0 because we are dividing the whole equation by b. If b is equal to 0, this will become infinite. So, if b is not equal to 0, this equation can be written as in this form. If you divide, for example, we have ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. If you divide by b, the whole equation by b, this becomes 0 by b. So what you get is a by b of x plus y plus c by b is equal to 0 or we can write this equation in this form y is equal to minus a by b x minus c by b. So if you see this equation and if I say y is equal to mx plus c, both are of similar pattern. The pattern is same. That's why we can say m is nothing but minus a by b and c is nothing but minus c by b. Correct? That is what we have proved here also. So, the same equation ax plus b by plus c, we have written in the form of slope intercept form. Here, please note that b is not equal to 0. Thus we have seen that we have written this equation ax plus b by plus c in this form slope intercept form. In slope intercept form we know the slope and we know the intercept. So we have written this equation in slope intercept form. Next is intercept form. Intercept form as we know is nothing but x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a is the intercept in x-axis, b is the intercept in y-axis. So if we, the same equation ax plus by plus c we can write in this form. I will show you how. So this equation we have ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Correct? Let us divide the whole equation by c. So what we get is a by cx plus b by cy is equal to minus 1 or 
if you put one this side because we have to find it is equal to one in this form so this becomes minus a by cx minus or plus minus of b by cy is equal to one correct now what we can do is we can divide this equation by the same thing we can write in this form x by minus cy we can write this we have just put a in the denominator x plus y by minus b by c sorry minus c by b is equal to 1. So the same equation we have written in this form that this x by minus c by a plus y by minus c by b is equal to 1 and this equation is if you see similar to this equation is equal to 1 x by a plus y is equal to 1. Here we see that a is minus c by a and b is minus c by a. Thus, what we have seen is we have written this form of equation, the general form of equation in the intercept form. In such case, the a becomes minus c by a and b becomes minus c by b. Now let's take normal form. Normal form we know is of this form x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p. So we can rewrite this equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 in this form. I will show you how. So let me write this equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 as we can write this equation as ax plus by is equal to minus c. Correct? This is our equation 1. Also the equation 2 we have is this one x cos omega I will write cos omega into x plus sin omega into y is equal to p. So if you can see these two equations we can compare same form the pattern is almost same. So we can say that if we divide this equation 1 by equation 2 what we get is a by cos omega is equal to b by sin omega is equal to minus c by p. Correct? Because this, this two equations are almost same the x, y and constant. In the same fashion so we can write like this. Or from this what we get is cos omega is equal to cos omega is equal to a p by c minus a p by c. This is the value of cos omega and sin omega will be minus bp by c minus bp by c. So we have got this is 3 and this is 4. So we have got sin omega and cos omega. Now we know that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1. We know. So we will square these two. So we know that sin square omega plus cos square omega is equal to 1 we know this or minus a p by c whole square plus minus b p by c whole square this is equal to 1 or what I get is a square p square c square is p plus b square p square c square is equal to 1 or a square plus b square will take and here I get p square by c square is equal to 1 correct a square plus b square take common or I can write p is equal to nothing but c by root of a square plus b square correct because p square will be c square by a square plus b square so p will be c by root a square plus b square so this is the equation 5. So we have found the value of cos omega, sin omega and p. So if you see cos omega is plus minus sorry this will become p is equal to plus minus c by s. Now we have value of p. In cos omega we have a and c and p also will replace the value of p with this c by root a square plus b square. So we get cos omega is equal to minus a by c into p that is c into root 
a square plus b square and since plus minus was there so we'll write plus minus here so this becomes c c cancel so this becomes a by root a square plus b square plus minus similarly for sine omega we have minus b t by c so this becomes minus b by c into c by root a square plus b square minus plus so this becomes c c cancel this becomes b by root of a square plus b square. and that is what we have written here if you see cos omega is equal to plus minus a by root a square plus b square sin omega is equal to plus minus b by root a square plus b square and p is equal to plus minus root a square plus b square thus we see that we have written this equation ax plus by plus c that is a general equation of line in the normal form in the normal form we know the length of the normal and the angle which the normal makes with a positive x axis for example this is the x y axis this is a line this is a normal and if you draw this normal from origin this is the angle omega and this is p and this is our line for this equation for this form of line we have this equation x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p so thus we have seen that we can write the general form of equation in slope form slope intercept form where we have one slope and one intercept intercept form where we have a and b that is both the intercept and normal form where we have normal and the angle which normal makes with the x x thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again